Have you ever wondered what goes on in the brain of your classmate? Today, we'll find out the unknown inside Annalise's brain, and we'll explore three of the most used portions of her brain. First, we'll look at the hippocampus, where memories of her friends and family are stored. Next, we'll find out her interests in the frontal lobes. And lastly, we'll observe the prefrontal cortex and what Annalise is imagining for her future. Getting a closer look at the hippocampus, Annalise has all the memories of her family and friends. Even though she has a big family, her mom, dad, sister Brianna, and dog Sammy, a 14-year-old lab beagle mix, are always on her mind. Memories of her friends Maddie and Aubrey are also stored here, but they would say she's no airhead. They'd instead describe her as friendly, quiet, and smart. Getting a, moving on to the frontal lobes, we'll look more at some of her interests. She likes to practice color guard when it's nice out, and she used to do band for many years before she changed her mind. When she's not in school, you might find her laughing her head off with friends, doing housework, or reading. She recently read A Star for Miss Blake. In school, Annalise is interested in psychology and forensics because she enjoys learning about the brain, how it works, and how it interacts and reacts to outside stimuli. Lastly, let's observe the prefrontal cortex and what Annalise is imagining for her future. After graduating high school, Annalise isn't going to think twice as she has already made plans to study abroad at John Cabot University in Rome, Italy. And her dream future after graduating college would be to still live in Italy, being a forensic psychologist with a few dogs, cats, and houseplants. Another goal she has for the future is to travel across Europe. If she ever won the lottery, she would give some to her family, some to a friend, and put the rest into stocks, bonds, and savings. Thanks for joining me in exploring Annalise's brain, where we looked at some of her hobbies and interests in the hippocampus. We learned her hobbies and interests in the frontal lobes, and we observed the prefrontal cortex and what Annalise is imagining for the future.